Mm, since I was very young, since I was a child actually, I have always been a very curious person, always asking for the reason why of many biological phenomena around me. I decided I wanted to be a molecular biology or study biology during my high school because uh, I, I understood that what I was studying wasn't enough for me. I wanted to, to deepen my knowledge about my molecular, molecular biology. I was and I am actually satisfied looking at the world around me only when I can analyze events uh, in the inner essence from the molecular point of view. Um, what I actually see is that biology can give, me, can give me satisfaction and it really, I don't know, it explains everything that uh, arises some questions. to uh, enroll in the um, master degree in genetics and molecular biology here at Sapienza University of Rome not only for the history for um, uh, not only for the history and for the fame of the university itself but also because of all the uh, ex expert professors that we can find here not only in our course but in the in the university uh, in the whole actually. What I like here is that uh, even if for some reasons maybe there's something you cannot you cannot actually do in your lab, everything everything is interconnected and you can also share your technologies with other laboratories. So you get the chance to to go on with your project uh, also with uh, structures and uh, with technologies from other laboratories. This place is fantastic. It is really a little town in the bigger town of Rome, in the biggest city of Rome. I think it's wonderful here at, at Sapienza because everything is so close. So you get the chance to, to not only to go to different departments, but also to enjoy your nightlife. Yes, in the view of this I decided to enroll in this master degree here in Rome and I'm satisfied with my decision. Uh, you can meet people from different backgrounds, people that are studying uh, uh, laws or studying literatures and you can actually um, experience different kinds of, of lives from other people. It's not dispersive and uh, this is what I like the most about it. As a student, you, you don't really know what, what it means to work in a lab. In the building where we are studying and working every day as a daily basis in these labs, uh, we have lots of different technologies. You stand here from the very first day you are put on the bench and you get to work. We are part of bigger projects and as students we can actually uh, practice and have a real hands-on experience. So everything is in your hands and um, you know what it means to have responsibilities and uh, this is very important. It is necessary for our growth as novel young researchers. This makes you feel already like a little researcher. And the most exciting things while I was working is that I realized that I was working with real alive things with cells, you can actually see them growing, uh, forming neurites, in the case of neurons, the cells that I was working with. They're working with things that you can see, you can, you can not touch them actually, but yes, they're alive and it is cool. <laughs> peculiar of the English course here in Sapienza is that I got the chance to, to be in contact with students from other countries of Europe and not only. Here I have the possibility to, to do lectures with not so many students so you have face-to-face -face contact with the, with the professor and you have the possibility to share knowledge with people from different countries. And it's interesting because uh, you can share ideas, visions with other people in a positive environment. And you're actually talking in English and learning in English. 
But we have to bear in mind that English is the language of the world of research.